Introduction We celebrate the feast of Christ the King today. It is the last Sunday of the liturgical year and the beginning of the season of Advent. Therefore, both a conclusion and a new beginning or preparation for the coming of the Messiah. We are asked to look at Christ, the Universal King, and how He identifies with His people. We are asked to see the face of God in everyone around us and to remember the words, Truly I tell you, as long as you did it to one of the least of these, you did it to me. morning to you, dear children, parents, teachers, friends. Let us begin our children's Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear children, uh, it's a long time we are meeting again. I hope you enjoyed your Diwali vacation, had a relaxing time. And now we've come again online, your classes and online mass. And as was said in the introduction, today is the feast of Christ the King. So we ask God to make Jesus Christ the King of our hearts, the King of our lives. Let us prepare our hearts and minds to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Gloria. We 
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and made us a kingdom, priests to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Even so, Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God who is, and who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response to the psalm will be, The Lord is King with majesty enrobed. Please repeat. The Lord, the Lord is, is King, King with, with majesty, majesty enrobed. enrobed. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. Response. The Lord, the Lord is, is king, king with majesty enrobed. The world you made firm, not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from of old. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. Response. The Lord, the Lord is, is King with majesty enrobed. Truly, your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house, O Lord, until the end of time. Response. The, the Lord, Lord is King, King with, with majesty enrobed. enrobed. Please stand. Alleluia, oh come praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Alleluia, oh come praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Pilate said to Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this of your own accord, or did others say it to you about me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Your own nation and the chief priests have delivered you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, 
my servants would have been fighting that I might not be delivered over to the Jews. But my kingdom is not from the world. Then Pilate said to him, So you are a king. Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this purpose I was born, and for this purpose I have come into the world to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth listens to my voice. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear children, all the armies that ever marched, all the navies that ever sailed, all the parliaments that ever sat, all the kings that reigned, have not affected the life of man on this earth as much as that one solitary life. The life of Jesus has affected the whole of the human race. And yet, Jesus died in utter loneliness. His disciples fled, fearing for their own lives. How come these same disciples suddenly stand boldly and proclaim Jesus and his message from being frightened? They are, now they are bold. How come? Unless they receive some convincing proof that Jesus was more than a man. Jesus is not just a man. He risen from the dead. He is king and he is alive. But who exactly is this Jesus Christ? We have this slide. Who is this Jesus Christ? Who was he to his disciples? What was his character like? An English writer has drawn up a number of statements, 21 statements concerning Jesus all taken from the Gospel of Mark, which is the earliest written record about Jesus. And the facts of these statements are what the disciples knew for certain about Jesus. So what Jesus was like, these statements tell us that. One, he assumed a position of authority, even though he was a carpenter, a simple man, he set himself above the professional teachers of religion. Two, he claimed again and again that he was king. The prophets had prophesied about him. Not an empty claim, I am king. No, he died for it. Three, as promised king, he claimed some special dignity for himself. Four, he did not accept the teachings of the priests. He read and interpreted the scriptures for himself. When he was rebuked, why are you not obeying the Sabbath? Why are you not obeying the law of Moses? He replied with that sublime sentence, the Sabbath is made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Five, he claimed power to forgive sins. Six, he called a number of men to join his society, group. They had plain and simple rules. And this society was supposed to continue after his death. And he planned for the continuance of this society after his death. Seven, the disciples believed that he worked miracles. That they believed it because in one place they put there that he could not work a miracle. He was unable to work a miracle. If they wanted to show that Jesus was a miracle worker, wonder worker, they would not have put down that failure of Jesus. Eight, his miracles were chiefly miracles of healing, doing good, alleviating pain. Nine, although the first members of the society that group was of Jews, but he told them that it was to embrace Gentiles also, 
was to be open to all peoples of the world. Then, although he declared himself king, he refused the ordinary duties of the king, having power over people. No, he brought about a new idea of kingship, an idea of kingship that was inward, that was internal, spiritual. 11. He required from his disciples personal devotion and he taught them to follow his example in ruling their lives. 12. He spoke to them about the Holy Spirit directing his life and if they followed his example, the same Holy Spirit would direct their lives also. 13. Jesus taught earnestly that good feelings are more important than good deeds. A bad man may good, do a good deed, or even a good man may do a good deed and yet lack something. For a good deed to be perfectly beautiful, it must flow from a heart filled with good feelings. 14. He demanded acts of extraordinary virtue. We must be delighted to love those we are not obliged to love, to give to those we are not obliged to give, to help those we are not obliged to help. 15. He condemned all morality that was not inward, that was not spiritual, morality that did not flow from the heart. A man who gave alms out of duty, or a man who worshipped out of custom, or a man who prayed in order to be seen by others, were called hypocrites. 16. By his teaching, claiming to be king, Jesus incurred the deadly wrath of the scribes and the Pharisees, the hatred of the scribes and the Pharisees. 17. He required disciples to desire the welfare of their fellow men. He wanted his disciples to do good. The Son of Man came to serve, not to be served. 18. He went among sick people, healing them, sometimes with strong signs of emotion, doing good, healing people. 19. He commanded his disciples to follow his example of healing others. 20. He spent much time curing moral disease. The heart, he went, he was the good physician of the scum of society, of those that society rejected, the outcast, he reached out to them. 2021, 20, he taught forgiveness of sins. So these are 21 statements this British writer has taken from the Gospel of Mark. And therefore, they are all very authentic, genuine. This is what the disciples really believed about Jesus. If there is something else that we may add about the charm, the compelling sweetness of the Master, how is it that those disciples who were rough men, illiterate men, they left everything and followed him? How is it? It was because of his charm, they loved their master. If we add one more sentence, we can add there, the disciples loved their master. Dear children, it was this band of disciples, humble disciples, who shared Jesus Christ with the world. They experienced Jesus Christ as risen from the dead. Jesus Christ as king. We have that slide now, Jesus Christ, who is he? He is king. The king is alive and he can never die. It is this faith that the apostles and the first disciples it has come down to us. Down through the centuries we have received this faith from our apostles and the disciples. The church has survived 2000 years. No human institution has lived that long. That is because God is with the church. You and I, dear children, are called to acknowledge Jesus Christ as King on this feast day. Jesus Christ, you are king of my heart and I want to help in spreading your kingdom, your kingdom of love, of justice, of peace. And you and I will begin that first in our family and in our neighborhood. Justice, love and peace. And in this way we help to build 
the kingdom of God on earth. Amen. The children, now let us profess our faith. Say the I believe together. I believe in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven, heaven and earth, and, earth, and in and Jesus Christ, His, His only Son, our, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Prayers of the faithful. Your Dear friends in Christ, Christ, we are asked to see God in every one we encounter, and so with grateful hearts for all the blessings we have received, we come to the altar and offer our petitions to Christ our King, as we say. Your response will be, Christ our King, listen to our prayer. Please repeat. Christ our King, listen to our prayer. For our Pope, Francis, Bishop, Priests, Religions, Clergy and Catechists, we ask that they may reach out to all injustice and true knowing that they are the face of God to those who have never known Christ and his message. For this we pray, response, Christ our King, listen to our prayer. For those suffering from the pandemic and its effects that we may be inspired to become the voice of the voiceless strength of the weak and oppressed and Hope for those who have lost or hope for this we pray. Your response, Christ our King, listen to our prayer. For our country, India, its politicians and leaders and for leaders all over the world that they may draw inspiration from Christ, the servant King whose kingship has its basis in truth justice, peace and unconditional love and who reached out in love and service to the least of all peoples. For this we pray, respond, Christ our King, listen to our prayer. As we pray for our personal needs in the silence of our hearts, we offer up Alison Sequeira, Nitesh Karketa, Kyle Pereira, Nerissa Matthew, Etienne Fernandez and Andrea Fernandez who celebrate their birthday this week and we ask our Savior and King to bless them and keep them always in his loving care for this we pray response Christ our King listen to our prayer O loving and faithful King listen to our prayers and grant what you know is best for us we make this prayer through Christ our Lord Amen, Amen. We have the offertory. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, 
It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we please sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Pray over the offerings as we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you. We humbly pray that your son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace, Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Let it not bring us condemnation, but health in mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy 
that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Pray before communion. O oh good Jesus, to thee, thee I pray, pray as, as you come, come into my heart today. Give peace, happiness, and health, the best of thy heavenly wealth, not only to the ones I love so dear, but to everyone, both far and dear. After communion, Lord, in my heart you've come today. Hold my hand and lead the way. Let me know what's right from wrong. Keep me safe, wise, and strong. Tell me, Lord, what you have planned. Lead the way, Lord, hold my hand. Notices. This the Sunday is the feast of Christ the King. COVID cautions dictate that the traditional procession with the Blessed Sacrament may not be safe. Hence, the parish will live stream on YouTube a holy hour with the Blessed Sacrament from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. to pay homage to Christ our Servant King. Physical presence in church will also be possible. Next Sunday, we begin a new liturgical year with the first Sunday of the season of Advent. Let's welcome this time of renewal as the church itself struggles with its own cleansing and renewal in many aspects, especially with the synodal consultation of all God's people. <coughs> The Children's Mass will resume from this Sunday, 21st November. The Children's Mass will be premiered on our YouTube channel at 8 a.m. every Sunday. The Stop Gaps Cultural Academy presents its Festival of Music of Christmas Carols at the Tata Theatre, Nariman Point, on Sunday, 12th December at 7 p.m details on the church notice board. St. Joseph's Convent International School 
welcomes applications for admission to the Tiny Blessings Junior KG from Monday 29th November to Friday 3rd December for girls only. A few seats in Senior KG up to Grade 3 are also available. Admission forms are available in the school office from Monday to Friday, 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. St. Stanislaus International School also invites applications to the Junior KG Co-Ed IGCSC Curriculum. Only online applications from eligible girls and boys are accepted through our website from 20th November to 19th December. We are not in competition with St. Joseph's International, but we are offering another option. St. Stanislaus SSC School also invites online applications from 20th November to 19th December for its Junior KG class. The school website gives all information needed. The Archdiocese acknowledges your contribution of rupees 70,200 collected last Sunday in our church. We remember Jesuit saints this week, Blessed Michael Pro on Tuesday and St. John Berkman's on Friday. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ the King. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Have a lovely Sunday. Wish you the same, Father.